The Three Billy Goats Gruff Once upon a time, three billy goats gruff lived on a high hill in a pasture full of fine alfalfa grass. The eldest brother was Big Billy Goat Gruff. The second was Middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff. And the youngest was Little Billy Goat Gruff. Every day they grazed and browsed and munched to their heart's content. But they were hungry, Billy Goats Gruff, and before long they'd eaten almost all the alfalfa on their hill. On another hill across the way they could see fine meadow fields with red and white blossoms among delicious green clover. But the path to the other hill led down to a bridge, and below the bridge lurked a mischievous troll. One day, little Billy Goat Gruff, tired of searching for grass to eat, and went down the path to the bridge. He looked around and didn't see the troll, so he started across the bridge with his little hoofs going clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. But when he reached the middle of the bridge, he saw a crooked, bumpy finger with a pointy, broken fingernail curl up over the side of the bridge, and then another, and another, until a whole, dirty hand paw slapped on the bridge, and then another, and then a long, greenish, hairy nose like a lizard slid onto the bridge, and then reddish eyes, and a wrinkly forehead, and long, dirty hair, and up came the head until the chin rested on the bridge, and big floppy lips and dirty black teeth that smelled terribly foul. And who are you clip-clopping across my bridge? growled the troll. It is only I, little Billy Goat Gruff, said the little goat. Well, you're tromping across my bridge, and I'm going to eat you up, said the troll and his green and yellow tongue licked across his broken teeth. Please don't eat me up, said little Billy Goat Gruff. I'm just a small little goat, barely enough for a snack. If you let me go eat the clover on the other hill, I'll get bigger and bigger. You should wait for my brother, middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff. He's much bigger and will make a much finer meal. Well, growled the troll, all right, go along with you now and get bigger, and I'll eat you later. A little while later, middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff came down the path and started across the bridge, going clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. About halfway across the bridge, he saw pointy fingers like snakes creep up on the bridge, and a bumpy hand, and another and a gruesome, ugly face appeared with a long green nose with a pink wart that had three long black hairs growing out of it and big floppy ears that waved in the breeze and made a shadow on the bridge. And who are you clip-clopping across my bridge? growled the troll. It is only I, middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff, said the middle brother. Well, you're tromping across my bridge, and I'm going to eat you up, said the troll, and he slobbered slimy slobs of spit on the bridge. Please don't eat me up, said middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff. I'm just a middle-sized goat, enough for a nice snack, but not enough for a good meal. If you let me go eat clover on the other hill, I'll get bigger and bigger. You should wait for my brother. Big Billy Goat Gruff. He's much bigger and will make a much finer supper. Well, growled the troll, all right, go along with you now and get bigger and I'll eat you later. So middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff continued on to the hill and joined his little brother grazing and munching on the fresh clover. A little while later, Big Billy Goat Gruff came down the path and started across the bridge, going clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. About the midpoint of the bridge, he saw some muddy, scratchy fingers curl up over the edge of the bridge, 
and a horrible green face with red eyes popped up. And the troll said, Who are you clip-clopping across my bridge? It is I, replied the eldest brother, Big Billy Goat Gruff. Well, said the troll, you're a nice big goat and I intend to eat you up. With that, he swung the rest of his ugly body up on the bridge and there he stood, the ugliest troll in the kingdom, with dirty long black hair stuck to the mud all over his body and hairy warts all over his chest and ugly scabs on his arms and legs and nasty weeds growing from the dirt deep in his tummy button and toenails that curled in circles till they made a sharp point and scratched lines in the bridge whenever he moved his foot. And after I eat you up, growled the troll, I intend to gobble up both your brothers. Big Billy Goat Gruff didn't say a word. He just lowered his head with the two great big curvy horns and ran as fast as he could at that ugly troll. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, and charged into him so hard, so fast, that he blasted that troll to smithereens. And Big Billy Goat Gruff continued across the bridge and joined his brothers in the clover, and they all three lived happily ever after.